I suck at fly fishing! Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Welcome back to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. If you're new here, I post a new video every Monday morning. You can subscribe down here, that would be cool, but no pressure. In today's Huge Fly Fisherman video, we're gonna talk about how to fix common casting problems. I mean, come on, we all have problems with casting, right? I know I do. It's okay to admit you have problems with casting. Now, before we get into it, check out my video right here that's about how to cast a fly rod. Make sure you got that down, and then we can troubleshoot. So let's start with the first problem. Have you ever heard that snap behind you on your back cast? Yeah, I'm sure you have. Well, it's not good. Maybe you've even lost a fly just by casting it right off the tippet. Making that snapping sound on the river is basically like screaming, I suck at fly fishing, to everyone around you. This is a timing issue. You're not letting the line completely straighten out behind you. You can learn to do it by feel and timing, and it's also perfectly okay to turn around and watch your line. That's fine. Wait for that line to straighten out behind you, and you'll eliminate the whoops. All right, let's move on to the next common casting problem. That's where the line just kind of piles up in front of you and doesn't go anywhere. The line's gonna follow the path of the rod tip. So you want that rod tip to go in a straight line. And if the line just lands in front of you instead of going out away from you, it's because you're moving the rod tip in an arc. It might be because you're breaking your wrist. It might be because you're bringing the rod tip too far down. Keep your wrist straight and finish your cast here, not here. Straight line. Okay, next common casting problem. That's when the end of your line or your leader won't straighten out and it just lands in a big pile. That happens when you're not stopping the rod quickly enough. You should speed up, speed up, speed up, and then a sharp stop. Like you're flicking mashed potatoes off a spoon. If you can't get the hang of it, go out and punch a brick wall a few times. That's how it should feel, but it shouldn't be painful. That's the motion you're going for. This problem can also be caused by trying to cast a leader that's too long or thin for you. I know how you can fix that. Fish a shorter, thicker leader, which you really should try to do anyway, I think. Oh no. I just realized this beer isn't even open. All right, let's go over the next common casting problem. That's a tailing loop. I know you're guilty of this one. Everyone does it. I don't care who you are. A tailing loop happens when the top part of your loop goes under the bottom part. It can give you all kinds of crazy knots in your leader. No, they're not from wind, they're from bad casting. And you're losing energy in your cast and not casting efficiently. Tailing loops are caused by overpowering the rod. You're bending it too much and the tip is dropping too low. So chill out, Mr. Overcompensator. Don't cast so hard. Fly casting doesn't take strength, it takes technique. Okay, let's finish up with maybe our most common problem. I just can't cast that far. Well, it's okay. You just need to keep practicing. You're not going to be great overnight. I've been doing this for 29 years and I'm still not that good at it. Just keep getting out there and practicing. Maybe learn to double haul. We'll cover that in a different video. But just get out there and fish and cast and practice. That's how you learn how to cast a fly rod. Okay, we're done. I got to go. These fish are eating hoppers and I want to get back in the boat. Thanks for watching another huge fly fisherman video. You can go to hugeflyfisherman.com to buy some merch and stuff. The stickers are quite popular. I'll see you again next Monday with another Huge Fly Fisherman video. Until then, stay huge. I'm a bad caster. Always have been.